Okay, so here we have a problem which says a 5 gram bullet leaves the muzzle of a rifle with a speed of 320 meters per second. What force, assumed constant, is exerted on the bullet while it is traveling down the 0.82 meter long barrel of the rifle? So if you want to try this on your own, I laid out the steps for how to solve this. And the first step is to determine the average acceleration given the what you're given. And the second step is to find the average force using acceleration and mass. And the equations we're going to be using are F equals MA, and then one of the kinematic equations, V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2A, change in X. So first we're going to determine the acceleration. Now, so uh, no matter what, I always write down my list as AT, V1, V2, X1, X2. But we're not dealing with time anywhere in this problem, so we can get rid of that. Now we're given the initial velocity because it starts from rest and we're given the final velocity of 320 meters per second. And we're going to put our uh, x initial at zero and then our final x value is going to be at the end of the barrel which is 0 0.82 meters. So given these, we can go ahead and find acceleration using this equation. And the change in x is x2 minus x1. So basically, we're going to have 320 squared is equal to 0 plus 2a, 0.82 minus zero. So we're going to have 320 squared divided by two times 0 0.82. So, so we're going to get a answer of Point two four times ten to the four meters per second squared. Now that's it for part one. Now we're, we want to find the average force using acceleration and mass. And the equation that ties force and acceleration and mass together is F equals ma. So we want to find the force, and we're given a mass of five grams. Okay. Now we have five grams. We need to convert that to kilograms. So it's going to be one kilogram over 1,000 grams. That's going to give us 0 0.005 kg. Because when we're dealing with uh, mass and acceleration, we're going to be using meters and kilograms. So our force is equal to the mass, 0 0.005. times our acceleration of 6.24 times 10 to the 4. And we are going to get a force of 312 newtons. And that is the average force because that is our average acceleration.